All right, guys, so earlier today, I posted a video how it was so weird that Apple has yet to release iOS 26.0.2, a software that they've been working on for over 10 days, according to Mac Rumors, or the RC for iOS 26.1. But to my surprise, a few hours later, and sort of off schedule, Apple released iOS 26.1, RC. The release candidate is now available as of today. This basically means that Apple has scrapped the plans to release iOS 26.0.2 and iOS 26.1 should be available for everyone here in just a couple of days. Now we'll talk about the expected release date for the final release of iOS 26.1, but I wanted to share with you guys some last minute changes that Apple has added to the RC build. Now aside from iOS 26.1 RC, Apple also released iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, homeOS, tvOS and division OS 26.1 RC the release candidate all available to download as of today to register developers if you're a public beta tester you'll most likely see this populate for you within the next 24 hours or so now the download here was a little over 8 gigs from beta 4 to iOS 26.1 RC now let's head on over into settings let's go under the about section and iOS version you see right there that is the final build number for iOS 26.1 23b 82. Now, in the past, Apple has released a second RC. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case this time around, but obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. Now, I wanted to answer a few questions. I know some of you guys are asking, did Apple remove the slide to stop for the timer on the lock screen? And no, that did not happen. Apple did not remove the slide to stop. You see right there, we have the slide to stop option on the lock screen. For whatever reason, some users think this has happened. On the RC, at least for me, we still have that slide to stop for the timer. However, Apple did confirm on their release notes, there's two issues that were fixed here last minute before the official release of iOS 26.1. Number one, Apple mentions devices might fall asleep while using certain apps on the lock screen, such as calculators, timers, or notes. So if you were having issues where your device would just fall asleep, even though you were using your device on the lock screen with those applications, it appears that this build should fix that issue. Now, Apple also mentions on their release notes that the new AirDrop icon has been fixed in the share sheet as well. So when you go to share something, the new airdrop icon now looks a lot better as you can see right there something minor but apple did mention this on their release notes the airdrop icon has been fixed and i've also noticed that animations in flowing through the os just feels a lot nicer with ios 26.1 rc including the feature in apple music where you can swipe for the next track this feels a lot better a lot smoother to use on this latest beta so in terms of release dates let's go into the calendar and take a look here so if apple does release an rc2 that will most likely happen some sometime later this week. If that doesn't happen, Apple could release iOS 26.1 for everyone to download on Monday, November the 3rd, or the following Monday, November the 10th. Now, typically, the softwares do get released on a Monday, so I'll keep you guys posted. Make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for more videos. If an RC2 or more changes are discovered before the official release, I'll make sure to follow up with you guys, as well as talk about the battery and performance before the final release. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.